बुक समरी ऑफ बी अबसेस्ट और बी एवरेज बाय ग्रांड कार्डो ने हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू भागीरथ ऑडियो हब आई एम अश्वंत आई रिक्वेस्ट यू बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस समरी सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल थैंक यू लेट्स स्टार्ट इन द ईयर 2016 ग्रांड कार्डो ने रिलीज दिस बुक हुज नेम इज बी अबसेस्ट और बी एवरेज आफ्टर लिसनिंग टू दिस बुक एन एटीट्यूड विल डेवलप इन यू टू लिव लाइफ टू द फुलेस्ट If you want to start a business or you are a business leader or you are interested in knowing about aspects of life then you must listen to this book about the author the author of this book Grant Cardone himself is a very well known businessman along with this he is also the author of the best selling book the 10x rule one how important is it to have passion in life many of us feel that our life will become very peaceful after retirement Many people spend their entire lives waiting for retirement but the author says that such an approach to life is not right Along with all this people also have a lot of fear of failure Due to failure in this fear it happens that many great opportunities pass away from them After listening to this book you will know how to live life with a broad chest like a lion Sometimes such a time comes in everyone's life when they get bored with their job Many times people get burnt out so badly that they leave their jobs. If you too are stuck in such a situation, then you have two options. First, you should take a break for some time. The second option is to develop a passion within yourself. People choose these two options as per their convenience. It is seen that average people choose the first option. But they forget that by following this path they will never achieve the ultimate goal. So if you love your goal then choose the second option. With this, if you are exhausted, then ask yourself some questions. The first question to ask is whether you have deviated from the right path. Second question, how important is your goal to you? Many people think that bringing passion into life makes everything worse. Many people also think that if you want to maintain balance in life then you should not be obsessive. But the thinking of the author of this book is a little different from this. He thinks that it is very important to have passion in life. According to him, if you have a goal and passion in your life, then you can never get bored. The author also says that energy flows in the body only through passion. 2. To stay motivated, always keep your passion fresh. Suppose you know what your passion is, but just knowing this does not ensure that you will reach your goal. If you want to achieve your goal in life, then there should be continuous progress in your journey. Success is not achieved just by making a right and accurate start. Success will be achieved only when your journey continues continuously. So always try to keep your passion with you as long as the passion remains. Till then your journey will also continue. Do you know what it means to have a great career? Having a great career does not mean that you achieve one goal and then give up work. Having a great career means that you should have a complete series of goals. It would be good if you have a complete script. Like a filmmaker, you write the script of your super hit life. You should know what is going to happen after this chapter. The more wonderful you write the climax of your life, the better your life will be. Climax is all about goals and passion. As an example, the author narrates the story of his life. He says that at one time he used to have 500 apartments. But then his dream changed. He felt that this figure had to be taken to 1000. He focused on his new goal. The result came in his favor. Today he has more than 4500 units. You should learn from this chapter that the goal in life should always be kept big. If your goal is big and full of passion, then your steps will move towards success. 3. Think big and also be practical. What exactly is going to happen in the future? No one can guess this. Even a millionaire businessman doesn't know what the outcome of his next project is going to be. Then the question comes that how do you know exactly that there will be peace in your life after retirement? Therefore, always think big and keep challenging yourself. Your thinking should be such that the true potential of your body comes out. In the present, you will keep trying to challenge yourself. Your future will be that much better. No one can guarantee this, but it can definitely give confidence. You will take major decisions of your life after thinking carefully. Don't do this by copying Sharma ji and start a new business. Don't do this by getting married due to family pressure. 
Use this magical formula of life for your business also. Before bringing any product in the market, do thorough research on it. Never launch a product until it is ready for the target audience. With all this, never forget the importance of speed in your business. Remember that the world salutes the rising sun. Therefore, try to come first in the competition. To be the first to bring any product to the market, it is very important to have passion within you. Look at Apple company for example. There is something lacking in every product, but still it is number 1 in the market. What is the reason behind this? The reason behind this is that she brings any product to the people first. Therefore, do not slow down in the pursuit of becoming more perfect. 4. The art of scaring fear. Psychological research has revealed that the biggest reason behind a person's defeat is fear. You will have to learn one skill. That skill is how to scare fear. Remember that if you are starting a business then you are young. If you are young then what is the need to be afraid? Open your chest and stand smiling in the face of fear. Fear is necessary for the success of any big work, but that amount of fear should be very less. This fear should be so much that the flow of energy inside you increases. But if that fear is creating difficulty in your success, then you will have to bring within yourself the nature of the lion of the jungle. If fear is coming in front of you again and again in your business journey, then you should understand that you are moving forward in life. Keep moving forward. Look towards the goals and think whether this fear is enough to sit idle and stop working. Compare your results with your goals. Then see whose height is bigger. Is your goal big? If your goal is big, then you will start enjoying playing with fear. Whenever you feel fear, make it sit with you and say, "I still have to go further." Success is waiting for me. Scientists have also accepted that fear also provides some psychological help. If you want to move ahead in the competition, you will have to fight even with fear. Make friends with fear quickly and strengthen your path forward recalling the economic crisis of 2008. The author says that at that time the whole world was scared. Everyone was sitting in their house. People started withdrawing money from the market. Then I thought that I should take advantage of this time. I cannot sit at home in fear like this. If not today then tomorrow the world will stand up again. Till then I have to establish my business. Then I decided to make good use of that crisis. 5. It is very important to learn the art of using money. Do you know how to measure success? How do you know whether you are succeeding or not? The author explains that growth is the only way to measure success. The more you grow, the more successful you will be considered. Are you growing more today than yesterday? If you are growing every day, only then you are moving fast towards success. Many people also question whether fear is harmful. So how to drive him away? The answer to this is very simple. Fear is never harmful. It will only do harm if you let it. The day you will know the right use of fear. From that day onwards it will become very difficult to stop you. Who can defeat someone whose partner is afraid of him? If no one can defeat you then you are the winner. Now coming to the subject, what is the proper use of money? Ask yourself what is the proper use of money? Is saving money the right use of it? The answer is no. Saving is not always good. If you are a businessman then the right use of money is not saving. If money is not helping you move forward, then that money is of no use to you. Only then can money be useful to you. When he will help you move forward. The author of this book suggests you to invest 30 to 40% of your income in expanding your business. That money will help you in the future. Remember a formula. Money helps only that. Who has a way to use it? If you know how to use money, then money can transform you from a pauper to a king. 6. Make those who hate you a part of your passion. How does business work? As you get success, your critics will also increase. Along with the critics, your opponents will also increase. For this you should understand that this is how business works. Today's era is the era of social media. In today's time, haters are also born. Now this question arises, how to face them? The answer behind this is to accept them. Thank them for taking the time to pay attention to you. If people are paying attention to you then it clearly means that you are being successful. In the previous chapter you were told that being successful means that you are growing. You are growing. 
This means that people are paying attention to you. Remember that the more people hate you, the more successful you will be. To this this can be seen from a different angle as people start reviewing you. This means you have done something big in your life. Today's times are so busy, people don't even have time to eat food. In such a situation, if someone is talking about you, it means that your work is influencing them somewhere. Let us look at another possibility. Suppose billions of people are abusing you on social media. This means that you can also become a politician in the future. It is possible that your name may be written on the prime minister's chair. In politics, there is a wait for such people whose popularity is very high on social media. Therefore, while doing your work, never think that people will start trolling you on social media. If people do not troll, then you should think what is missing that people did not give their time to my work. Therefore, from now on you have to take every negative thing in your chest, be positive and show the negative the way out of the field in a light-hearted manner. 7. Build the best creative team around you, it is your responsibility. What takes any business towards success? Sweet nature or sharp technique? The answer is that you should have sharp technology, if you yourself are creative then your work will become easier. But if you are not creative then keep a team of best creative people around you. The better your team is, the better your business will be. Can any world be conquered without army and weapons? No, not if you don't have an army. Then how will you win the war? Be it war, business or any sport, victory cannot be achieved until then. Unless you have a great team. Even if you have to pay a little more to hire good people, don't back down. The first technique you can use is to offer the best salary in the market. The benefit from this will be that the best people of that industry will come to you and many people will even leave other companies and come to you. Now you have to decide whether you will go to the race with horses or with donkeys. Once you have a good team ready, it is your responsibility to take care of that team. The author of this book tells that you should have the skill to provide a comfortable environment to your team. It has been said that the best creativity comes out only when there is peace and passion in the workplace. That's why in the beginning chapters you were told to never let your passion die. When your team sees the passion within you, they will also do the work with full dedication. If you want energy to remain within your team, then they should see a lot of energy in you too. The more love and dedication you show to your work, the more your team will do the same. Dream big. Build a strong team, make friends with fear, keep challenging yourself and move forward. Conclusion What does it mean to be awesome? This means that you must have growth. You must appreciate growth. Always aim big for yourself and your company. The bigger the goal, the greater the success. What do you have to do now? It is better to spend time on your passion rather than spending time on tasks. Even today is the time to identify your passion. The sooner you do this, just as soon you will find the path to success. So how did you like our today's Be Obsessed or Be Average book summary? What did you learn today? If you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time, wish you all the very best.